Welcome to this section of the course guys. In this section of the course we will learn AngularJS as a framework. We'll talk about basics of AngularJS and then we will have some advanced topics in AngularJS as well. Now let's take a look at AngularJS first. AngularJS is a structured framework for dynamic web apps. It lets you use HTML as your template language and lets you extend HTML syntax to express your application components. AngularJS data binding and dependency in injection eliminates much of the code you would have to write otherwise. Now we have a concept of single page applications. Single page applications, as the name implies, consist of applications where only a single page or we can call it HTML document is submitted to a client and after this initial load, only fragment of the page are reloaded by AJAX request without making a full page reload. The main advantage we have in this web application model is that due to minimizing the data traffic between a client and a server, it provides a user with a highly dynamic application with low latency between the user action on the interface. A point of attention, however, is that this application model, much of the weight of the application processing falls to the client side and the device capability where the user is accessing the application can be a problem for adoption of the model, especially if you are talking about application access on mobile devices. Now let's look at an architecture of AngularJS. You probably heard the term MVC. In the word web, there is a well-known pattern MVC, Model View Controller. In this pattern, we define that the web application is defined in three layers with different responsibilities. Model. In this layer, the code is responsible for performing the persistent of application data. We have a view. In this layer, we have the code related to the presentation to the end user. Controller. This layer is the code that bridges between a navigation and the source of application data represented by the model layer. So first thing we need is AngularJS file. So if you go to angularjs.org website, and here we have an option for download AngularJS. Let's click on that. And now here we have an NPN option to install Angular. We have the Bower option to install up, install AngularJS, or we can simply download the file. Now we have a two options. We have the 1.6 latest option. We have the legacy option as well. What we're gonna use is a latest AngularJS. Now we have three options. We have a minified options, uncompressed, and zip file. So minified, you use minifies when you want to ship your applications in your production. Uncompressed is when you're developing your application, which gives you a better suggestion, better errors, and you can just debug your library. If you get any errors, it'll gonna help you a lot. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna download this uncompressed version. So I'm just gonna click on download. I'm going to click on keep and it's going to download. I accidentally downloaded two files, but that's fine. Now here we have an option for installing AngularJS through Bower. We have an option for installing AngularJS through NPN. And we have some extra module as well, which we need to have in your applications. For example, we have the routing module. So if I click on that, and here we'll go and search for AngularJS routes. So here we have AngularJS route, which is which is a kind of a pretty good module, which is gonna help you to extend your AngularJS application with routes. So we'll talk about that. I'm gonna go back to download AngularJS and we have the CDN version as well. Uh, there are a few benefits of using CDN versions better caching, decreased latency, and increased uh, parallelism. So we can either add this file into our project or we can just use this CDN version, which is going to give us some better options. So yeah, it's up to you which one you want to use. 
I would say if you're just developing, just download the file, keep it with you, and you don't have to worry about it and anything. So yeah, uh, we have downloaded it. And next thing we're gonna go and set up our IDE for AngularJS development. So I'll be using a WebStrom as my go-to IDE. You have other choices as well. For example, you have a text editor, Visual Studio Code, which is great. You have an Atom, you have brackets by Adobe, but my go-to ID would be WebStrom. And one more thing I want to mention here that you, you're you not getting this WebStrom for free. It's cost about $60 in Australia. So you have to pay for this uh, ID, which is, uh, I think it's worth it. Uh, they're not sponsoring me to say this in the video, but it's just my personal prefer preference. But you would, you you can just uh, you can just use whatever you like. All right, so here we'll create a new project by going to create new project, and I'm just gonna create an empty project. We have an option for Angular JS project, which gives us a boilerplate for Angular JS, but we don't wanna use that. We wanna set up our empty project, and here we'll just say. Angular JS practice and I'm gonna click on create and now we have an empty project in WebStrom so here is we have an Explorer so here we need to add few things first so we need to create an HTML file we need to create a CSS file and we need to add that file uh, Angular JS file into our project so let's do that. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to create an HTML file first and I'm going to name it index.html. So this is our HTML file we have in our project. And then I'm going to right click and then create a directory. So let's create a directory and I'm going to type libs. So all the libs is going to go inside uh, this folder. So I've downloaded that. So I'm just going to go grab that file and this is the file i'm going to just right click and then copy this and i'm going to right click here and then paste that file there so we have angular js file and we can go back to the website and download a few other modules right here so go to downloads we need to download two more modules so i want to just get uh, the same version so we'll just do route so right click save as this file and then we can go to our project so we don't really know where is the project so i'm just gonna download this on a desktop let's save it and then we're gonna have to have this uh, animation module so angular dash animation save that and then download that as well so let's go back to the website and we go back to WebStrom now. So here we can just navigate to the desktop where we just downloaded these two files. I'm just gonna right click, copy these files, and just gonna right click and paste these files here. All right, so we have all the things there. Next, we are going to go to our HTML file and set it up for our Angular JS development. So here, first thing we can type a title, Angular JS. I'm actually going to increase the text so you guys could see better. All right, I guess this is much better. So Angular JS, and then we are going to add our Angular JS script file. So let's go to libs, and I'm going to just click and drag and drop it here. And then we can have a route here as well. And then I'm just going to select both of these. I'm just going to push them down. All right, so now our AngularJS is our AngularJS project is pretty much set up. In the next video, we will add some more dependency. For example, we'll add a jQuery and we'll add a bootstrap.